hello my love bugs once again it's your girl Lumi love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden out your heart for i'm just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for your likes subscribe shares and views everything is greatly appreciated my loves let's go ahead and get into it on this good friday okay let's see what we got going on because i was led to grab two different decks and i was told to split this one and take my time so let's see what's going on. Let's see what's happening. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for divine guidance, clear communication, and divine protection. What is going on? Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. All right. Had to turn my music up just a little bit. I'm hearing tell the DJ turn me up. All right, someone is trying to block your crown chakra energy. They don't like your divine connection because you see them coming every time. Oh, this is the person that may be a... Hmm, this is somebody going to jail. This could possibly be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a water sign, maybe. You could be a water sign, whoever. But somebody... No, they're trying to drown out your spirits. They don't like how connected you are with the divine because you stop them every time. This person is going to jail and they want to pull up on you. But they're trying to trick you. Okay, this person wants to try to end, dog, I'm going to just say what I'm hearing. This person may want to try to end you before they have to go to jail. They know they're going to jail. They want to pull up on you. <laughs> they don't want you to pull up their deceit. Yeah, it's some sort of fake family member. Maybe trying to get in your dreams and block your crown chakra energy. This person will put a hit out on your whole family. They drink up <laughs> because somebody that they know or maybe somebody that they with uh, dreams about you at night. They want to clean. They want to pull up on you. Maybe so they can do something to your vehicle. Maybe put some sugar in your tank if they can get it open. Bust out your window. Scratch your car. Something. They want to pull up and do something to your car. Vandalize your car. Or maybe they did pull up and vandalize your car and that's why they going to jail. I don't know. This is somebody who want to take you out now, even though they repeatedly cheated on you in the past. All right. They they feel like they have things connected to you. All right. So this person could have possibly, this could be an ex. All right. This ex want to pull up on you. They possibly about to go to jail. They want to see what it is with you. They want to see if they can connect with you one last time, but they know that you know, okay, about what they did behind your back. That's why they want to block your, your. Uh, they don't want to get confrontational with you. This person really just probably want to have sex with you. Which is weird because this person knows that you don't want nothing to do with them. I guess they want to block your crown chakra energy to try to do some sort of spell or get away with a spell. They was working with fake ass family members of yours and they put a hit out on, you know, you and your child or you and your people. You know, if it's different sides of the family. Now this person swears they want to take you out after they repeatedly cheated on you in the past. And then they feel like they have something connected to you. And I feel like it's your car. Maybe they did something to your car. They most definitely probably did something to your car or put something in your car, near your car. They maybe think that you still have, they still have things that are connected to them in your home or something. This person probably stayed with you for a while. Yeah, and they're trying to use some sort of mental magic. Maybe they're hoping that there's something left in the home that is connected to them. And if you see it, then you'll remember them. Yeah, because this person trying to do some sex magic. What I see, this person want to try to get some cootie mama from you one more time. But this fake ass family member that worked with him is the one that slept with him. So that's who he cheated on you with. Yep, and they also put a hit out on your family together. Both of these people could be water signs. Yeah, they are very upset that this sex magic that they're trying to do is not working. I'm thinking this woman might even be trying to help this masculine connect with you sexually so that you can sleep with him and he can get his way in. All right, they're trying to make you sick. So this person may also have an STD and they could be trying to do uh, some sort of spiritual STD with you, knock you down a notch is what I'm hearing. Maybe you're in a high vibration in all these people. Most definitely in a high vibration in all these people. And they want to knock you down a notch so they can send some karmic energy to you and get you sick. This whole family of yours that you got away from. Oh, excuse me. There you go. With the yarn, know, releasing of the negative energy. Hallelujah. All right, but this family is doing magic on you along with this masculine. All right, and um, somebody feels like they're they're passing away. They feel like they they're they're dying because some spell work is broken. They want to know what you practice. They might have been trying to scry through your mirrors and see how you do what it is that you do because every time they try to do something to them, every time they try to do something to you, you expose it and figure out their plans. This person wants this masculine wants spiritual warfare with you 
um, because you won't love him and whatever hex he tried to put on you is broken. I'm getting this person uh, didn't want you to go off with any other person and never be happy. And um, he's finding out that that is broken because whatever he did with this ex family member of yours, because I'm, you know, you don't deal with him. Whatever happened with this ex family member of yours, you know, you put that to the past. That's he was a karmic. He's a past life love. Okay, these people have something against your child being blessed. They have been trying to make you gain weight. This whole family wants you to gain weight so you feel less of yourself. All right. They won't stop until you pay them some attention. They got this masculine back on you, on the prowl, back on you. People calling you from private numbers to listen to your background. Some people might be texting you from private numbers, random stuff, just to get you to, you know, answer or at least say something so they can connect to you. And that's spell work, okay? So don't be, don't be opening no messages about no damn packages you don't have. Don't be reading no messages try not to you know what i'm saying try not to answer the phone for numbers you don't know damn who it is it don't matter all right these people want you dead they, they mad because you cut them off they've been gossiping with your ops all right they've been gossiping with other people that maybe don't like you maybe old friends or people that you put to the past that don't like you no more they purposely did this and now they all want you to take them back and get forgiveness because they were the ones that wanted you poor and they wanted your life falling apart now their life is falling apart and they're nervous they're scared all right, this masculine wants to know, are you really single? That's why he want to get next to you and try to do this karm karmic spell work. This could have been the one that went to, who, who, let's see who was gossiping the damn. Okay, the, your whole family been working different shifts trying to curse you. It's a whole toxic environment, so you know what side of the family that is. You know, however that go for you. They've been keeping secrets because they've been doing this shit to you for a long time and they want your life to fall apart so you don't get this soul connection with a divine partner. All right, they leave things around your home when they drive past it, maybe to be with you, trying to put a hit out on your child. All right, somebody has, uh, just because they did this, these people now are possessed. They have split personalities for you, yeah, for using mental magic on your child. All right, we got a toxic twin flame here that may be an earth sign that's working with a past life enemy of yours to try to get in to sleep with you in your sleep. What the fuck is going on with this? Okay, we got two things that we want to know. I want to spend my life with you. This man is really trying to reach out to you. I feel like he's trying to do it sexually so that he can get his way and make his way into your life physically. But that's because all of them want you to get whatever sickness that this person got. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else is going on? Okay, specific questions. <sighs> Keeping secrets. Who is this uh, that's gossiping with the ops? They life falling apart because they went to the crossroad. Who went to the crossroad? This whole damn, these, this whole, your whole, your whole entire family, your whole entire family, dude, the higher fit, they're in some sort of cult, some sort of cult, whether it's a church cult or whatever, they're in some sort of cult. They always keep doing magic to try to change your fate. That's why they went to the crossroad to reach out to a crossroad. Uh, ooh, I heard a crossroad demon. Okay. So they most definitely believe in the church. I mean, got the church beliefs that they, <laughs> Anyway, they wanted to change our fate. They didn't want you to be able to move on. Yeah, they wanted you to cross over, bro. They wanted you to cross over, but that is not what's going on. Queen of Wands. Yeah, they wanted you to cross over so that your energy could go to this water sign. But you stood your ground, okay? Oh, shit. And you know the truth about what's going on? All right, you are spiritually protected and you can manifest way better than these people. So whatever they was coming with, you came 10 times harder. It went back times three. You know, 10 times harder because seven and three, even though they're not the same suit, but seven and three, you came back 10 times harder. and went three times back to the sender. What was, what's this seven of cups? Sheesh. I heard blowout. <laughs> I heard, ooh, wipe out. <laughs> okay but what i said the seven of, yeah they keep trying to send you some sort like these people are literally trying to poke around in your subconscious and getting your energy to try to make this masculine come be able to come towards you because okay so who keeping secrets what's the secret what's the secret oh my goodness yes get to it what you mean The secret is somebody want to balance something out with you and they're all trapped in their mind because you're getting on a new cycle. They couldn't hold you back and you don't want to reconcile with them. Is this the masculine or the feminine? Justice. Somebody 
is T Tolly. I guess it's this whole family. I guess they've been trying to keep secrets from you or keep some more secrets from you, maybe. What what about these secrets? They don't want you to know about a passion new beginning. They don't want you to get on this passion new beginning. They feel like you're the one keeping secrets. They feel like you're getting justice elsewhere and you're keeping secrets and you won't reconcile with them so they can find out what you're doing so they can try to stop you. Who is this over here trying to do? Oh, okay. They saw success in trying to block you, but you had your guard up and you're getting this Ace of Pentacles. And that's having them heavily burdened. This entire family is working with this masculine. But what is the what is the deal? They want to cause you some conflict. They don't want you to have success in this partnership. They want you to have to stand your ground in relationships. Maybe get with this person and he try to abuse you in some sort of way. All right, but you're riding off victoriously. And they invested, they over invested in this. And they trying to betray you and cause this uh strife and turmoil is what i heard but they are defeated because your relationship is a divine partnership that you're going towards and you have the courage to move forward the confidence see these people were trying to break down your confidence and they was going to do it with this masculine why do they feel like this masculine was a good option why do they feel like this masculine was a good option to try to mess with the collective because thought he was a good option because you had your guard up to them because you knew they was trying to get money out of you okay so they knew because you oh my goodness okay so in the past they might already knew that this masculine that you left this could have been a possibility of being a divine partner for you if he would have chose to heal like you did spiritually you know uh spiritually tap in instead of taking the bait which i heard he took a bait somebody had them uh this family had this this feminine that was in your family reach out to this masculine in secret and he took the bait he answered back she threw some cootie mama he took the cootie mama then he took the 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 whole oath is what i heard trying to get in on the scheme and the money and work together against you to try to get you in this partnership now how does masculine feel right that's why he want to block your intuition because he ready to get in way fit in see all these people broke as hell okay that's why they want to partner up with you and come back around but you don't want to so they trying to send this masculine in using this magic trying to send him in with some sex magic so he can have sex with you but they're heavily burdened because every time it's a big fuck no bro from the ethers it's not happening all right these people want to receive some sort of change um or they want to receive a profit while you okay so basically they want a piece of your pie you moving forward you got a whole new cycle you're having a brand new start you're getting this money they want a piece of it they feel like they worked hard enough to try to at least get a piece of it but you it's yours yeah they're just jealous they're jealous because they don't have nothing they're jealous they are losing their homes you won't accept none of their calls a lot of these people know they missed an opportunity with you because of the shit they planned against you in the past they feel like you got a new skill that you're coming up with to help you move forward and they want to try to stop you so you could be trying to think of something new to do okay you could have upgraded something that you had in the past these people just shit bricks because they know the more that you upgrade the more that you put forth within yourself you're gonna make it yeah and they feel like you hiding some man <laughs> so they want this other man to try to come in and come back with you but child no it's not happening you walked away from all of their asses and they ain't gonna have no choice but to sit back and watch you i heard from the gallows i'm telling you somebody going to jail they're gonna have to sit back and watch from the gallows while you enjoy your life yeah and that's just on that's on that's on big god all right who is this <sighs> Please unblock me. I cheated on you with your friend. <laughs> I can't stand not knowing what you're doing. Basically, you're not going to get to that man. Oh, no. You're not going to make it to that man. Not without my... No. What? Not without my consent. Why he feel like he got... Somebody feel like they got control over what it is you do. Oh, and this person is also hiding their true sexuality. This car, he'll be sliding out. They tried to hire somebody to poison you. 
because they're jealous of your love life. This person now claims that they're obsessed with you. They lack emotional intelligence. All right. They're also scared. They're being haunted because they shouldn't have cursed you with them people behind your back. Their lives aren't working anymore. All right. They just want everything you have. It's, try it's hard to hold back. They feel like they truly love you. They want you to hurt them. Oh, okay. So then this girl jumps in. She says she wants you to hurt her because she thinks you're too confident. So she want to set you up um, and get you locked up because people can see that she's jealous. Maybe she was going around lying on you talking a whole bunch of shit that wasn't true. And now people know it. And now she got to make you the monster that everybody else wants you to be. But you don't trust her. See, this is the type of bastard that want to get close to you, get up under you, try to pretend like the this is a snake. This is a person that likes to go around and try to get cool with everybody after they snake them. Okay. She's trying to do the same thing again, all right? She's, she, she, this masculine maybe doesn't think that you're that attractive. You're not really his type. They just want to deal with what you got going on because, of course, he like men. You know what I'm saying? All right, this feminine secretly hated you since y'all were kids. So she was on board with this whole family and working towards you, all right? This person might have treated you. Oh, okay, so both of these people was working together. They might have switched out on you at some point um, because they was dealing with each other. Both of them was jealous of your hustle, so they laid down with each other and they talked about each other. The feminine was only there to sleep with the masculine. Um, I fucked your ex to get a reaction out of you, okay? They wanted to hurt your child together because they jealous. Your child is blessed, all right? They also want their wealth for themselves. They tried to use friends of yours to plot against you. This lady of the night head ass feminine over here is obsessed. She want to control you, but it's too late for that. You don't allow these people around you. Like I said, they was pillow talking behind your back. They had people following you. Yeah, um, you see that bitch at the stove? Oh, yeah, you see her? Follow her. Where's she going? That hoe probably going over here. Blah, 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 blah. All that BS talk, okay? Yeah, she slept with your op just to spite you. So she knew that you didn't like this masculine. After you and this masculine fell out, whatever it was, she knew that you didn't like this masculine. And she purposely thought that she was going to try to trigger you by sleeping with him. I don't know why she thought that was going to work. But she's a fool. He's a fool. Both of them fools. Whatever. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all my loves. I hope you got what you needed from this reading. I'm going to go and clean this hot mess off my table. And we'll get into the next one. Mm -hmm.